So what you're looking at here is a 40 foot bow garden. And uh, this is growing duckweed on two levels. And there's two sets of troughs. And they're separated by a support frame unit, framing. And uh, there's actually a level above so we can have some shading or lamps or um, another level. But uh, in this case, what I'm doing is I'm raising duckweed because duckweed is a nice uh, food uh, feed for animals, chickens, ducks, fish, even goats like it in uh, some proportion of their diet. Um, and I'm also growing microgreens. Happen to be doing both at the same time. It's kind of cool, kind of crazy. I harvest the duckweed periodically and then I dry it on these screens that we set on this telescope. I need probably some shade up here. We could do the same there. Um, uh, so yeah, that duckweed can be stored and made into a silage. It's fermenting for the, for the animals to get to eat it. Nice and sweet smelling. Uh, so here uh, the, uh, uh, is an example of, of using a deep water trough to grow microgreens. And what I'm doing is I've got a, a rack on a table that spans the, the trough here and it stays, it's stationary when, and, and allows us to create an air layer underneath the rack uh, which doesn't uh, move with water and so we move the water, lower the water and we get an air layer underneath and that allows us to have aeration and along this whole trough for anything that we stabilize on a level and um, uh, eliminate the need for mechanical electrical aeration. You can see the roots do nice. Duckweed doesn't stick to the underside. Um, uh, they probably are a little um, um, potentially mutually beneficial. Certainly the, the plants uh, benefit from the air layer as well as uh, maybe the microbes that are colonized on the roots of these duckweeds. And I'm sure there's lots of them. Uh, burlap uh, sits on top of the grid and it's a chemical free burlap. It happens to be the same width as this trough and we have big rolls of it so we can roll 40 feet at a time uh, in each trough and put down enough of these, these metal racks. which. Uh, um, yeah, if we found to be the most convenient way to do this, make to grow microgreens. You can cut the burlap, uh, take it up in smaller sections, um, and or you can do it all at once and, and, and keep the trays in and just cut from one end to the next when you're ready to harvest. Maybe progressively seeding also. So uh, that's how we do it in the BioGarden uh, deep water system, really versatile. Uh, we can do um, trays like we do over here with cups two-inch net pots that hang in the water. You can do NFT in that, or you do deep water in that. And then, they, and then here's an example of doing the same trough, but doing uh, a deep water uh, with a microgreens rack. And we can also put aggregate in these, in these uh, beds and do, a, do a, an aggregate for heavy growing plants, heavy feeding plants. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Thanks for watching.